McDonald is a great believer in functionality. She breeds dual champion Britneys. They know <laughs> that they're being judged. Here she comes. She's going to make a decision with Ron Menneker. There's Ron Menneker, the steward. The ring stewards help the judges get the dogs into the ring in a proper order, make sure the exhibitors are all ready to go. There you see her marking her book. Right down her best in shell. Move your hand a little bit there, Dorothy. No, she's covering it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Collier leaning in on the left, the president of the Westminster Kennel Club, through whose strong hand has guided this show to the great status that it enjoys worldwide. There she and comes. Ron Menneker, the show chairman, and she's walking over to... Here comes the big moment. Keyshawn Frizo. job just watching the Bichon do tell me that that dog doesn't know that he just won oh they all know that's great he oh, knows man. Scott knows Cecilia Ruggles knows the owner Eleanor McDonald oh, Flavio Wernick they all know wonderful. Eleanor McDonald bred the dog wonderful absolutely wonderful she says and who I was lucky her? it was the best lineup I've ever Gorgeous. seen Gorgeous. The fantastic. best lineup she's ever seen, she says. I agree. Has to be the best lineup anybody's seen here for years. I'm sure there have been some other great lineups here through the years, but my gosh, she could have pointed anywhere and been right. Wow. Let's go to Mara. Happiest person in America. <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's the greatest thing. Um, it's just a dream I've had since I was a little kid, and it's, it's incredible. You have said that JR has the heart the size of America, and he's just so fun to be around. What do you think he's thinking right now? Yeah, um, he's pretty smart, and he's loving it. Um, he's, he knows that he did good. Dorothy McDonald, the best in show judge. Quite an honor. You've judged here at Westminster, but never in the best in show ring. What kind of honor was this for you? It's an unbelievable honor. It's, it's the honor that you get once in a lifetime if you're very, very lucky. And incredibly lucky, and it was a wonderful lineup of dogs. Really a tough job. I mean, seven beautiful animals, all of them superb examples of their breed. This one was just as close to perfection as you'll ever get. Absolutely fantastic. You are t a true historian of the sport, and it's the 120 fifth showing of Westminster. That's right. How do you see your role now in the history of this great sport? <laughs> well, I hope that I am now part of the tradition of Westminster, and it's a wonderful 125 years of tradition, and another 125 years we're starting off again now. What a lot of people don't realize about judging is that you are judging according to the breed standard. How closely did JR reflect that breed standard? He, as I say, he's as close to perfection as you're going to get. He's absolutely he has the soul and essence of a Bichon Frise. I mean, absolutely a wonderful example of his breed. Well, what a tremendous Westminster show it was. Let's send it back now. Congratulations to everyone. Let's go back to Joe and David. Thank you, Mara. And the, the Bichon is just reacting like, I mean, no, no, look at this. He's looking for some high fives there. Let's do it. Scott Summers ecstatic, of course, as he accepts congratulations from the other handlers. Look at those little paws gone. I'm the champion. Uh, I'm great. the best in show. Yes, you are. As close to perfection as you can get is what the judge said. Oh. What a finish. We'll be back with more right after this. 2,500 started Monday morning, but only one can be crowned best in show. There is the best in show for this year, and what a beauty, David. Champion, special times just right, Joe. A great show dog, wonderfully handled, beautifully put down. Look at that grooming job. Scott Summers, 
Congratulations, what a wonderful job you've done. I think that this uh, Bijan tonight uh, just stopped all the critics who say dogs don't know that they win because the reaction when, look at this, look at this, look at those paws. That's real genuine excitement, whether you're a dog or whether you're a person. I mean, he knows that he won and he's gonna let the world know it. He's a part of the excitement. He says, thank you very much. David, uh, what, what did the judge mean when she said it had the soul and essence of a Bichon? Well, when we talk about the standards describing the ideal specimen, there are certain key items in there that are part of breed type, breed character, those defining moments, those defining traits, and that's what this dog had. That's what she meant by that. Well, you see our web poll results. 17% of you picked the winner. Then from the non-sporting group, the Bichon Frise, 23% of you liked the corgi and rightfully so 21 percent the bloodhound 15 percent of you wanted the flat coat 12 percent like the carry eight percent the toy and four percent the working well there you see the champion we'll be back with more right after these messages show and david uh, two great days what are your thoughts as the expert hey, you know the book title says it all the dog show that's what it is we had seven fabulous winners and one beautiful ultimate winner it was a great westminster once again the 125th i never saw a dog react like the Bichon, though huh very human like wasn't it it was a great reaction i'm glad to see how happy he was as well well it was a great night here we hope you enjoyed it uh, because i'll tell you the excitement we felt it we felt it and we hope you'll join us next year once again for David Fry, Mara Driscoll, and me, Joe Garagiola. Good night, everybody.